So with the cylinder head off, the little bit of play in the uh, cam gear to the crank gear is uh, evident by just moving it back and forth a bit. And uh, so also, when I uh, do the pre-torque on the gear for the pump, I have to be uh, careful that I don't uh, damage this uh, alignment pin for the pump because uh, this engine it turns over considerably easier in this configuration without the head. So I want to uh, when I when I go to do the pre-torque on the uh, gear here, I want to try and take up the slack between the gears and uh, also try to be uh, <laughs> don't try not to do too much on that uh, pre-torque because this uh, alignment pin will be in the pump during that process and I sure don't want to break that off. Okay, so that timing pin is still in the injection pump and I'll try and take the slack out of the gears. And give this a pre-torque here. So I don't think the engine moved during that procedure and I was more concerned about this pin here in the injection pump and I was checking it before and it still sits in there loosely. I can turn it half a turn and it slips back in there again, nice and free. So I'll remove that now and do the uh, final torque on the uh, nut there for the uh, injection pump gear. So this timing pin is not in the way and this one is out. So I suspect when I do the final torque the engine may want to rotate so I've got a handle from a hammer under the big end of one of the connecting rods to try and keep that from happening. for the hammer just dropped out of the engine there okay I got that hammer back in there had to rotate the engine a bit to get it in there but now try this again Okay. So the engine is at about six degrees before top dead center now. So I'd like to rotate it so that the timing pin fits into the pump again. So I'll spend a bit of time rotating this engine trying to get that to fit. And then uh, once that pin properly fits the uh, pump, then I want to check the timing again on the uh, degree wheel and I was thinking well how am I going to turn the engine it's getting a little harder to turn now with the pump in addition as well and I want to be a little more precise than this uh, rubber strap and then the idea came well actually there's uh, some drill holes there I guess from balancing and then I thought well would a uh, half inch extension fit in there and sure enough it did so and then the idea the thought came to my mind, uh, thank you Jesus. So on my first attempt I actually over rotated the engine so that I couldn't uh, get that pin properly into the uh, injection pump so I turned the engine backwards again 
actually uh, more than what I needed because I wanted to rotate the engine in a uh, clockwise normal running direction because there is resistance in uh, rotating the injection pump and I'm using that resistance to help take the slack out of the gears so I wanted to take the slack out of the gears in a normal rotation in a normal clockwise uh, direction and then uh, so anyways on my uh, when I finally did get it to line up I was at uh, about one and three quarter degrees advanced and maybe a slightly more so I did a recheck similar procedure rotating the engine clockwise until this pin lines up so that fits in there nice so this is the results from the uh, second check so here it looks like it's pretty much right at one and three quarter degrees advanced so that's before top dead center this is actually a tool that's normally stored in the injection pump like this in that position and there's a torque spec for this cap as well so if this injection pump came together factory with this data plate and I have no reason to believe that it didn't then instead of the pump being timed at 12 and a half degrees before top dead center now it would be timed at about 14 and a quarter degrees before top dead center.